How do you know if your audio interface is compatible with your iPad or your iPhone? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know. Let's go. One way to be 100% sure is to head over to my gear guide at studiolivetoday.com slash gear. Every audio interface that I list and recommend on that page is 100% class compliant and therefore compatible with all your iOS devices. And the great news is that pretty much every audio interface made these days and in the last 10 years is going to be iOS compatible or class compliant, with the exception of some higher end interfaces, which we'll talk about in a moment. Now, if you want the easiest, simplest, no brain a decision, buy yourself an iRig. Every single iRig product from IK Multimedia is designed out of the box to be compatible with everything. Your iPads, your iPhones, your Macs, your PCs, whatever you want to plug it into, the iRig has you covered. If you're going for another brand like an M Audio, Personas, Focusrite, or even a Steinberg, you're looking for something that tells you that it's going to be compatible. Compatible with iPad, with iOS, something called CC mode or class compliant mode. Anything along those lines will tell you that your device is going to work with your iPad or iPhone. But what if you see nothing like that? You've inherited an older device and you're not sure if it will work. Well, you can search online. If you find the model number, which is usually on the bottom of your device, you can actually search that and iPad compatible. Most people like me have put out articles and videos telling you which audio interfaces are going to work with your iOS devices. So a quick Google search might have you with the right answer. Another thing you can do is search for the name of the audio interface and drivers, because if it has drivers for that specific device, it may not be class compliant. The problem is that if you need to install device drivers for the audio interface to work on, say, Windows or Mac, it's unlikely to be class compliant because on your iPhone or your iPad, you can't install those same drivers, so it's unlikely to work. And the final way to find out if your device is class compliant and iPad compatible is to plug it in and try it. Now, remember, if you're using a lightning-based iPad or iPhone, you will need the genuine Apple Lightning to USB 3 adapter. There's videos and links down in the description telling you why and also where to pick one up. If you're using an iPad or iPhone with USB-C, it's better news. You can use pretty much any USB-C adapter and your device will plug in. If it comes on and starts working, you're good to go. If it starts flashing or you get no signal or it doesn't connect, it may not be class compliant. I hope you found this useful. Once again, if you want the simple solution, iRig's the way to go. If you're looking for other brands, jump over to my gear guide, studiolivetoday.com slash gear. I've got a whole bunch of recommendations from Focusrite, Steinberg, and IK Multimedia that I use right here in my home studio. Thanks for watching. See you next time.